So here we are back at the house. It's actually on Ocana. And the grass has been ripped out probably for a couple weeks now. They've put down weed killer and the owner was just out there manually raking to get as much of the grass as he could out before they do the planting. He did tell me that from the acceptance of the program through the water department, you have 120 days to finish the project. So I guess he put his application in prior to all the rain we have. So he's a little bit under the gun, but um, he's going to get it done and we'll come back to show you the finished so this product. This is Andy. And I've been following Andy's house. We saw them taking up the yard, then we saw them taking out all the, the weeds so he didn't get weeds. And I just want him to tell us what this plan is, because I see in everybody's drought resistant and it, it comes in beautifully. I, I've seen finished results. Well, you can see that you know, the, the roots are fairly deep and uh, uh, it is drought resistant. And the nice thing about it is apparently it can take foot traffic. So it, it is a lawn alternative to a certain degree. Um, and that's that's primarily why why I chose it. it was something I could still walk on and uh, hopefully something that will cover uh, a larger area in a relatively small amount of time. The main drawback I've heard is that it's a little slow growing so if you space it um, too far apart it might take a little bit of time to fill in and you get weeds in the, in the meantime. Mm, so. You have to do a little bit of weeding and I'm sorry could you just say the name of that plant uh, for everybody one time? Oh, Daimondia margarita. Daimondia margarita, and I'm just going to take a picture of that so we can all know where to find that. All right. Thanks a lot, Andy. And so this is Andy's finished product. Somehow I, I lost the footage of them when they were taking his yard out, but it's going to come out lovely. Good job. Thank you for the information, Andy, on the plants.